Hello everyone, how are you? I am Ms. Alaa Hatif and this is a new session from the Revision Sessions with Mr. Fawaf Academy. Today, inshallah, we are going to start the revision of the first term for grade 1. And we are going to start with revising on chapter 1. So, are you ready? Let's start. Our first part in chapter 1 was talking about the numbers up to 5. So can you remember them? We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now we want to remember together how can we write these numbers by letters or in the word form. So for example, here at the 0, we have it by digits only. It's written in number. How can I write it by letters? So 0 is written as Z. E or O. This is zero. What about number one? How can we write one? It's O N E. One. After one, we have two. Can you remember how can you write it? Yes, it's T W O. Two. So two is T W O. What about number three? T H R E E. Again, three is T H R double E. What about number four? It's F O U R. F O U R four. What about five? It's F I V E. F I V E. So these numbers are written now by both ways, by digits and by letters. Now let's solve some examples on them. Here, count and join. Join means match. So here is number one. Where can you see the one? Yes, here is it. We have one lion, so we are going to match or join them together. What about number two? Can you count and see where is two? Here is it. Two rabbits. Yes. Then match number four. Yes, it's here. And the three is here. The exercise. Here, count and write the number. We are going to write it by both ways, by digits and by letters. So let's count how many cupcakes can you see in this picture. We have one, two, three cupcakes. So how can we write three? Put three, then write it by letters. T H R double E. Count how many words can you see? One, two, they are two. So put number two and write. It's T W O. What about the number of candy? Yes, it's only one candy. So we are going to put number one. Can you say the letters of one? Excellent. It's O N E. One. What about the number of carrots? One, two, three, and four. So we have four carrots. So put number four and write it. It's F O U R. Now, can you count the banana? How many bananas can you see? One, two, three, four, and five. So here we have five. F I V E. Okay, now let's move to another part which is called number line. What the meaning of number line? Line means like that. This is a line. And I want to put numbers. On this line or represent the numbers on this line where I am going to put them we put them below the line like that starting from 
zero. So here is we have zero after zero, one after one, two after two, three after three, four, and so on. We can complete all the numbers down here. So now it's called number line. So again, this is the line. When I put below it some numbers, so I call it number line. Can you complete the following numbers line with me? Complete the missing numbers. Here in there, A, we have a line which has some numbers and some are missing. So if you have here 0, 1, so what is the missing number here? Yes, sure, it's 2. So we do. Then 3, after 3, here we will have 4, and here is 5. Again, letter B. Here we have two missing numbers, then it's 2. So, of course, the first one is 0. After 0, we have 1. Here is 2, after 2, 3. Then 4, after 4, 5. Okay, now let's take another way to represent the numbers. We have a way which is called five frame. What the meaning of five frame? Five frame is like this and it's cut into five parts. I put in each part one dot. So here, how can we count it. We count the number of dots. We have only one dot here. So it's one dot inside the five frame. What about this one? Now they become two. So here the number is two. After two, we have three. So one, two, three. After the three, it will be four. One, two, three, four. And after 4, it will be 5. So now, can you see? The 5 frame is completed. All of it includes dots. There is no empty space. All of it is completed. So when I see it completed, I know that the dots equal 5. So when we count, we are going to find that they are can you count the number of dots here? One, two, three, four, and five. They are five dots. So again, when you see the five frame completed like here, it means that the dots equals five. And that's why we call it five frame, because number five will fill it completely. Okay. Can you remember these two words? Read with me. We have the word same and different. What the meaning of same and what is the meaning of the word different? Same means like each other. So if he give me this picture and ask me to ring the similar, it means I want to put the same or what is similar to the others together. Like here, I'm going to put the three together. They are like each other. And here we have two which are the same. So put them together. What about different? Different is the opposite. It means that they are not like each other. Like here. In the first one, can you put a circle on the different? Yes, there is red and red and blue. So where is the different? This is the different one because both of them are red, but here this is the only blue one. What about here? We have two triangles, but here one square. So this is different. Here is where is the different? Can you put a circle on it? Yes, this because it's so small smaller than the other two so you must save the two words the word same and the word different
here, the, this example is saying, look at the picture on the left, this left side, and on each row, circle the picture that are the same and cross out the picture that are different. We are going to put a circle on the same and cross out the different. Okay, here, this apple, where, where is it? Yes, here, so this is the same as it. It's also an apple. But what about here? They are different, so we are going to cross them out like that. This is the cross out. Number two, here is this robot. So put a circle on the similar one. Where is the same? Yes, this is the same as it. And here also, this is like it, so it's the same. What about this rocket? No, it's different, so we are going to cross it out. Again, here, this ball, this kind of ball, where is the same? Yes, here. So put a circle on it. And what about the different? This is the football. Football is different and the tennis ball is also different. So cross them out. Okay, the last one. Here we have a purple butterfly. Where is the same? Is this same? Like it? No, this palette is different, so cross it out. What about here? Yes, here the same, so circle it. And here also like it, the same, so circle it. Now, we want to remember together the days of the week. Can you tell me how many days do we have in the week? Yes, we have seven days in the week. And we want to revise on these days of the week together. So before revising on them, I am going to play on this video. So watch it. And after it, we are going to say them together again. Seven days of the week from Preschool Learning Fun by the Learning Station. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week. I like to sing them quiet. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven I like to sing them loud Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday Seven days are in a week I like to clap them out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday Seven days are in a week I like to stomp them out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week. I like to sing them proud. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days are in a week. I would like to sing again. Seven So again, how many days are in the week? Yes, as you watched in this video, I said that there are seven days in the week. Can you say them with me again? Start to say them. Yes, we have Sunday, Monday, then Tuesday, and after it we have Wednesday, then Thursday, 
And the two days that are off, we don't go to school. In these two days, they are Friday and Saturday. So again, we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So let's complete. We said that there are seven days in the week. Here, if here's Sunday, what comes after Sunday? Here's Sunday. So the next one will be, yes, sure, it will be Monday. So how can we write Monday? You need to save them by letters. It's M O N and all of them ends with the word day. D A Y. Monday. Okay, what about here? It's Thursday. So can you complete it? Thursday, what comes after it? Here is we have Friday. Then I need another one. Here is Saturday. Saturday. So any week have seven days. Now the last part in our chapter one revision is shapes. Can you see all these shapes? Let's remember together their names and how can we write them. The first one here, what is this shape? Can you remember? Yes, this is circle. So how can we write circle? C I R C L E circle again C I R C L E circle. What about here? It's square. This is square. How can we write square? It's S Q U. A R E again S Q U A R E square S Q U A R E square. What about this shape? This is triangle. This is triangle. So can you write triangle? Let's write it together. T -t so it's T. Try R I angle A N G L E triangle T R I A N G L E triangle. What about this shape? This is called a rectangle. Rectangle. So how can we write it? Let's write. It's R E C. T, then put the last five letters like triangle, angle, A, N, G, L, E. Rectangle. Again, it's rectangle. R, E, C, T, A, N, G, L, E. Okay, this is so easy. This is when you are extant, we put for you a star. So this is star. And what about the last one here? This is, means I love you, I like you, or I love you. This is heart. This is heart. So let's say them again together. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle, star, and here is heart. Let's solve some examples on them to make sure that we can Save them well. Write the names of the shape. Here, this, the first one. It's, yes, it's square. So after the S, we have S. Can you say with me? Excellent. S Q U A R then E. 
एस क्यू यू ए आर ई स्क्वेर अबाउट हियर दिस इज स्टार फोर्स हाउ कैन वी राइट इट इट्स एस Yes, after the S, we have T A R star. What about this shape? What the name of this shape? This is circle, and it has C. After the C, we have I R another C, then L E. circle well done What about this this is a long word this is called rectangle how can we write rectangle the first letter is r after r e c t then put angle a N G L E about the lowest shape here. Can you see it? What is this? Its name is triangle. Well done. T R I Then again, put angle A N G L E. Now I want from you to write them in your copy book. Square, S Q U A R E, circle, C I R C L E, rectangle, R E C T A N G L E, and triangle. C R I A N G L E, and of course we have star S T A R, and we have heart H E A R T. Try to draw them and write their names in your copy books. Another example. Here, write the name of each shape. We have some choices. We have square, circle, rectangle, triangle, and star. Give each one its name. This, the first one here is which one of these words? This shape is super. This is square. So let's write square. S-Q-U-A-R-E. What about the second one? This is what? Is it rectangle? No. Then it's triangle. Yes, this is triangle. So let's write for it. Triangle. T R I A N G L E. What about this one? Can you remember this? They are the same, but this is flat out. So we only turn it. to stand instead of sleep like that it's standing but it's the same shape which is super this is the rectangle and what about here this is of course this is the circle so can you write circle You have it up here in the choices. Yes, circle, C I R C L E, circle. And this is so easy. This is star. So with the word star, S T E R. What about here? Can you note this is the same as what? Is it similar to rectangle? Of course not. Is it like the circle? Also no. Is it like the square? No, it's not. It's like the square, but it's the same as what? Can you see? It's similar to this one, but also it's flat out. This was 
standing, but here we put it sleeping like that. So when it sleeps, its name will not change. It's also called, yes, it's also triangle. So this is triangle. So again, we have some shapes. We need to know their shape and their names. And when once you see any one of them, you say what the name of it. And you have to read them well. So when you see this word, you can read that this is square. When you see this, you need to read it as a circle. Here, if you can read this word, this is rectangle. And here, this is triangle. And this is the word of star. Okay, so we have done. This was our first chapter, and this is our revision on chapter one. I'm going to complete the uh, other units of the first term. So each session, inshallah, we are going to take one or two chapters together. So thank you for watching, and see you in next session, inshallah. Bye-bye.